hope you're having a good day today. Today, I thought we could do a chemical reaction. Maybe some of you have seen this before, but we're going to do something extra with it too. So we're going to see what happens when you mix baking soda and vinegar first. So I have some baking soda here and I have some vinegar in my cup and we're going to just pour that on and see what happens. Do you see what it's doing? It's making some bubbles. So when we mix baking soda and vinegar, we get a reaction that makes bubbles. All right. Now I'm going to do something else a little bit fun with that reaction. So for this, I'm going to start with a clear glass. Then I'm going to get a cup of water. All right, cup of water. I'm going to put it in my glass. Then we're going to do that same reaction, but in the water. So I have a teaspoon of baking soda here. I'm going to put that in the water and mix it till it dissolves. All right. All right, so my water should be pretty much clear, and that means that the baking soda is dissolved. Now, I'm going to get a quarter cup of vinegar. And pour it in my water. And what do you think will happen when I pour this in? Remember what happened on the tray? Hmm, I wonder what will happen when I pour it in the water. Let's see. Woo! We got those same bubbles, but it's in the water this time. So now the bubbles are traveling up through the water. All right, and I'm gonna add one thing we didn't have in our other reaction. I'm gonna add some raisins. So raisins, just like we eat sometimes. Here's a couple of raisins in the water. What do you think will happen? Let's see. So our raisins have gone to the bottom and now some of them are going to the top. And then back down to the bottom. And our raisins are gonna keep doing this for a while. So what's happening here? Well, our baking soda and vinegar are still reacting and they're still making those bubbles. Now that we put some raisins in the glass, the bubbles are sticking to the raisins at the bottom. They're carrying the raisins up. And then when the, when the raisins get to the top, the bubbles go up into the air. And then there's nothing to hold the raisins up anymore and they fall back down. So they go down to the bottom. They collect more rays, they collect more bubbles. The bubbles are lighter than the water, it brings them up. They let go of their bubbles, and then they're heavier than the water and they fall back down. And they're gonna keep going like this for a while. So you can, if you wanna try this at home, um, go ahead, get your clear glass, a cup of water, a teaspoon of baking soda, a quarter cup of vinegar and then a few raisins and they'll they'll keep doing this for 15 minutes or more so you can have fun watching your raisins go up and down and up and down in their glass all right well i hope you enjoyed doing our chemical reaction and I hope you enjoyed seeing some raisins dance around in a glass. Thanks for watching and have a good weekend. See you next time.